Hey guys! Hey there! This is my husband, Yahya. For those who don't know me, I'm a game developer. So he and I made a game in two days. Two weeks ago, I suggested we participate in the Global Game Jam. If you don't know what that is, it's an annual challenge for creative people to create a game in only 48 hours. So I thought it's an interesting and new thing to try out. It would be our first time collaborating on a game project, and it would also be a refreshing experience to me after my latest incident. Oh, that one. Yeah. So I got on board, and we made it. We created a game in two days only. Before we get into how we made it, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers a great variety of inspiring classes in the creative fields, including illustration, design, and much more. And it also offers classes on useful life and work skills, like freelancing, productivity, and lifestyle. In a nutshell, Skillshare has a rich library that can feed your curious minds. And the interesting thing about it? You can get access to all those classes at once when you join. And speaking of games, there is a full class on pixel art called Master Pixel Art in Ace Sprite, Pixel Art for Video Games by Ron Sedolazzi that teaches you how to do pixel art from scratch to create video game assets. And I mentioned this before, but in case you don't know, my anime drawing for beginners class is now available as well on Skillshare. In this class, I show you how to draw characters, both males and females, how to draw hands and feet, as well as how to draw clothes, shoes, hairstyles, and facial expressions. The great news is that you can try my class and all the others for free now, because the first 1000 people to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And if you want to continue afterwards, it's only $10 per month for a yearly subscription. Head to the link in the description box to join the community, explore, and enjoy learning. So this year's Global Game Jam theme was Lost and Found. After spending a good time brainstorming and coming up with different ideas we finally settled on Mom, I can't find it! Which is inspired by the very relatable mom meme. In this short game you play as Serena who lost her headphones and wants to find them before her mom comes. I'm not gonna talk much about the game because it's very short and I want you to try it for yourself and see how it is. I'll give you a little hint though. Try losing the game at least once. The game is available for free download on Windows and Android devices. So regarding the Serena part, at first I was thinking of doing a random character, but then I was like, how about we go for Serena? Yahya agreed, and so we did. And because we needed a mom, for the purpose of the game, I came up with a mom for Serena. At first we were going for an isometric 2D pixel game, which is a new concept for both of us. I never worked on pixel games before, and she never created assets for a pixel game either. But we were determined to give it a try. So I started creating an isometric pixel background and sprite sheets. Of course, I had no idea how to do proper pixel art, as I've only made very simple icons so far, and this was my first proper attempt. But I checked a few tutorials and learned how to do it. As for the characters, I wanted to cut in time as much as possible, so I used pixel character bases I found on Clip Studio assets to make the Serena and Mom sprite sheets. But doing a game jam is not easy at all. You have to create so many different systems, test them, make sure there is no bugs, and try to finish everything on time. At first we were going to use Unreal Engine, but unfortunately it doesn't do isometric 2D art style so well. I considered shifting to Unity and using its isometric system, but that would have taken too long because I haven't used Unity in such a long time. So ultimately we went with a 3D art style on Unreal Engine 4. With the assets I could find, I recreated the room in 3D. But we kept the pixel sprites, so I continued my work on them. And I also drew the sprites for the mother and Serena's dialogue. Due to the time limitation again, the game didn't end up in the best quality we can offer. It has only one level, and we had to rush the creation of the necessary final touches. For example, the color grading, the logo, the main menu and others. All of these were rushed, so they're not in the quality that we wanted to deliver. But with the time we had, we wanted to focus our energy on having a complete product that works properly and is fun to play. Because in the end, that's what matters the most. Realistically speaking, after all the back and forth, and considering the sudden changes of plans, the game you'll play was actually made in only one day. So I guess it's not so bad for a one day project. As for now, we don't have any plans to go back and improve the game because we're both very busy with our own project. So we're not gonna promise anything, but if there's a high enough demand, we might possibly improve the game in the future. And as for the pixel room, I'm gonna set it aside for now. But I wanna get back to it and complete it sometime, and maybe make an animated artwork out of it. Overall, it was a quick, but a fun learning experiment for both of us. I hope we get to do it next year too. Oh, I can't wait for that.